Um, and it depends on whether you talk about remission. We like to talk about reversal. Because remission sounds like you got to a destination. And I like the term reversal because it means it's going, you're going in back in the right direction of, towards metabolic health. Uh, reverse, by reversal means we take them off all their diabetic me medicines except metformin. And we had 55% of people at the end of one year who, who had reversed their diabetes by those criteria. This shows medication use. It's kind of complex, but on the, the far left-hand side is our uh, metform I'm sorry, our sulfonylureas and insulin. The sulfonylureas we completely withdrew because they're very dangerous drugs in terms of inducing type or inducing hypoglycemia. 54% of the patients stopped their insulin. Another um, almost 40% uh, reduced their insulin, or only 8% of the patients didn't reduce their insulin in the course of the study. The drugs in the middle were drugs that we didn't regarded as, as dangerous and didn't, weren't as active in reducing them. And on the far hand, right hand side, you see metformin. If the people were on metformin and had no side effects from it, we did not stop it. In some studies of diabetes reversal with you know, very low car calorie, low carb diets, they just automatically stop all meds, including metformin. But I think there are et ethical issues of stopping a drug that isn't having side effects, that's very cheap, and which has known benefits of preventing progression to diabetes. Because this cohort of people are very high risk of progressing to type 2 diabetes, so we don't stop it. This is a, a eat to satiety study. It was not a, a calorie restricted diet. We weren't focusing on weight loss. This shows you the weight change for the two cohorts across two years. And you can guess that the blue patients are the, the ones who were on the uh, VERTA program. We had progressive weight loss down to one year. We did not see as a cohort the group begin to start keep regaining some weight till about 14 months into the treatment. And there was about a five kilogram I'm sorry, five pound weight regain uh, between one year and two years. Uh, so there is some weight regain that we saw in the second year, but it was very modest compared to what one sees in a, in a lifestyle program. We saw a 12% reduction in uh, 10 year atherosclerosis risk based on a standard a predictive equation. One thing that, you know, the blue bars are, anything going up is improvement, reduced risk, anything going down is increased risk. The only blue bar going down, which is the, our intervention group, was LDL cholesterol. If you look over, over here on this side, this is the small, dense LDL, the, the atherogenic LDL. It improved, even though LDL slightly increased. The other thing I'll point out is, with a purple bar over there, that's C-reactive protein. Remember, at three months, it doesn't go down. And in this study, we didn't, I don't show you, it, C, CRP did not go down in the first uh, 70 days of the study. But at one year, we saw a dramatic improvement in CRP and also an improvement in white blood cell count right next to it, which are both recognized predictors of diabetes risk and heart attack risk. But these are 16 biomarkers of inflammation that we measured at one year and two years in this population. Remember, in the three-month time frame, only three of the six, I'm sorry, only seven of the 14 went down significantly with the ketogenic diet. Here we've got 14 out of 16 going down. All four, 14 of those 16 that, that we say went down significantly, the p-value was 0 0.001 or less. And so what we're looking at here is a broad spectrum anti-inflammatory intervention. If you take an anti-inflammatory drug like modern statins, modern statins reduce CRP. They'll reduce it about 25% in patients who adhere to the drug for a year or longer, but it has no effect on other biomarkers of inflammation. It's a single focused drug. This is a much broader perspective effective drug. Just wrapping up, When I used to think that you know, the, the, great, the value of ketones was it takes fat, processes it in the liver, and you make fuel for the brain. What we now know is it's an excellent fuel for the heart. And also, very interestingly, beta-hydroxybutyrate is an extremely effective fuel for the gut. 